Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylin and this is Foundation First. I'm going to start a little bit of a series. It may be a broken up series or you know maybe once a week, who knows, let's see how it goes. But I would like to start doing some story times. It's a great learning opportunity and also to share some of the experiences I had as being a teacher, being a young teacher, being an experienced teacher etc and everything that comes with actually being a teacher inside a classroom. So today the story time is going to be about my very first day as a teacher, meaning my very first day of having my own classroom, walking into my classroom, having children that I'm responsible for, the very first day. I was a full-time student at the university I studied at throughout our four years accumulated we got experience of six months um, it was broken up over the four years and it gave you good experience but one thing it didn't do was prepare you for that first day prepared you for a number of things but one thing it didn't pre prepare you for was how to start your very first day as a teacher walking into that room having your class there and yeah how how to do that <laughs> eventually left university got a job uh, which is really hard actually to get a job as a new teacher maybe some people find it pretty, pretty easy often people have to do an internship and get experience especially coming straight out of university not having an internship before or a apprenticeship before I didn't have a wide range of experience so it was hard to get a job however I got a job it was a grade R class which in South Africa is the year that they turn six the last age group I want is grade R, they're too old. And it's so funny because later on in my career I did even older age groups, but that was it. Um, I got grade R. One, I was really nervous. I was 23, if I remember correctly. It was the first time I'm now actually part of a staff. I haven't been a part of a staff before. I've had small jobs here and there, or pairing, working in my family's factory, doing quite simple jobs there, but never being now part of a team. And that was very nerve-wracking. I was one of the youngest. I was also quite shy. I've got a lot better over time, but I was very nervous. Oh my goodness, I was so nervous. Like, how am I going to like these people are so much older than me? I'm so young. Can I even have a relationship with, <laughs> with these people? They're so much older than me. What will I talk to them about? <laughs> it did get better. I did eventually <laughs> build a relationship with him. Usually you open up a few days before to get your class set up, etc. And to be quite honest, I didn't even know what a first day looked like. Every school's different. Every school does something else on their first day. So even if I had been at another school for a first day, I don't know, like, I don't know what to do or what to expect. Now, like, I've got these children, I've got to learn their names and the parents, and now I have to deal with parents, and oh my goodness, it was very nerve-wracking. Also to remember that my story is not everybody's story. This is my story. So maybe not everybody else's is as dramatic. I remember getting the children in. Thank goodness, I, I remember so clearly the children in my class. I remember the names. I can see them in my head. I can remember some of the parents. Um, and this was eight years ago. I remember their personalities. Greeted the parents, greeted the children. We all went inside. I, I didn't get too much guidance on what to do on my first day. I got told that we do a name game, to be quite honest. I don't even know how to do that name game. In the morning in a preschool, you do a morning ring where you gather the children together and you, you greet them, sing a song, you do the weather, you do the calendar, etc. I was like, okay, well, that I know how to do. It's just like, I'm so afraid. So I remember all the children had arrived and I remember saying goodbye to the last parent and closing the door. And I remember closing the door and turning around to these kids and seeing the sea of children and realizing that, oh my gosh, I, I am in charge of these children. Me, I am responsible for getting all these 26 children from this year to be ready for grade one. Oh my gosh, it is on me. And at that time I didn't have an apprentice, it was me on my own. The other teachers were well experienced. People don't even know because one so far gone or they had a apprenticeship before however I didn't I came right out of university and I was so lost I had no idea what I was doing I did have an idea I'm responsible for these kids and I just felt this wave of pressure come over me like oh my gosh like why am I here why did I want to do this why did I want to be a teacher 
why I, I I can't do this and this is all in the space of like a minute it's going like I can't do this I can't get I'm, I'm not ready to take on these children and I have to deal with their parents and what if I fail and what if I don't do well and what am I going to do today I don't know what to do today to keep them busy no no and like going on and on in my head like it was frightening. And that was just in a space of like one, maybe two minutes. Okay, well, what did you learn in university? Because I actually did learn things in university. Surprise, surprise. I did learn things. I also did do teaching practice. I was like, okay, I do know this stuff. And I was like, they don't know their names. They're going to have to teach them their names. I don't know who I am. I've got to introduce myself, etc., etc. Had the morning ring and introduced myself. Had the children introduce themselves. Did a name game that I kind of like winged. I don't mean I didn't really know how to do it, but I was like, we'll figure it out. And then did songs, you know, to the typical morning ring thing that you usually do. And I was like, well, I'm done that. And I look at the time. Like, what else do I do? And that is like the main thing that I remember like beyond that I don't remember the rest of my day however I remember feeling very very lost I remember feeling very confused I remember feeling very alone I remember not having a lot of guidance I, I didn't have a lot of guidance I didn't feel comfortable enough to ask people there's this version of like okay well I got this job I don't want to admit that I actually have no idea what I'm doing obviously I know what I'm doing I got a degree I had practice but how do I put it in place? I've never had a first day before. So I never had somebody come to me and say, cool, how does your first day look? What are you going to do? Which would have been very helpful. On the first day, I learned what to do on a first day and what not to do on the first day. And at the end of the day, they're not going to remember that. <laughs> like it's one day. I apparently remember that for, and will remember it for the rest of my life. But those children, they probably do not remember that day. It's very likely that they do not remember that day. But... I remember my first day of grade R with them and it was frightening. However, I got through it. I managed it. The next day was better. And the next year, the first day was much better. So teachers, if I'm going to give you any advice, if you don't know, it's okay to ask. We've all had our first day at school. I can't imagine that anyone was really feeling anything but nervous. Yes, excited too, but feeling nervous is legitimate. And when they're in that space, you are responsible for them. You're responsible for their education. And that is intimidating. And we know that. And experienced teachers, be that person to help somebody on their first day. And if you didn't feel that nervousness, know that some people do feel it and try and pass over that confidence that you have or had. If you have concerns, there's always people to talk to. So thank you very much. That's it from me today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to see what's coming next. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one.